At Big Cat Rescue, we try to be very transparent, but sometimes you can't see the cages for the trees. This area is currently lived in by Kimba the tiger. It's about 9,000 square feet, and it's several cages that are all strung together. The problem is that there's so much tree cover, it's really hard to see it from above. Even trying to fly the drone around, what I'm finding is that there is so much tree cover, I have to keep going up and down, up and down, so I apologize for this being a little bit of a rocky ride. When Big Cat Rescue started, we started with a lot of little cats because we did huge fur farm rescues where we rescued 56 bobcats and lynx and then 28 and then 22. So we built all of our cages to be a minimum of 1,200 square feet. And when we started taking in bigger cats, we made a minimum cage size of 1,800 square feet. On your right, you could see the first one that was 1,800 square feet. And this one with the pool is another 1,800 square feet. Kimba Tiger has just been fed, and he's back there if you were to go straight back to that second group of trees. I'll try to fly around there so that you can see him. He's eating in his feeding lockout. These pools are powered by our solar system and the water comes from the 18-acre spring-fed lake. If you're looking at the red pole in front of the pond, you can see to the left of it, that's where the water comes in, and then it goes out over the spillway and back down to the lake so that it's always being kept fresh. This pond belongs to the cat next door. That's Max Tiger. Max, Kimba, and Simba, all three came from Guatemala. They were rescued from the circus. Simba lives across the street between this cage and the lake. Right now, Max is out in the two and a half acre vacation rotation. If you look directly in the middle of the screen, a little off to the left, you can see Kimba. He's in his little feeding lockout and he's enjoying his breakfast that has just been dropped off. Each one of these 1,800 square foot enclosures has a feeding lockout. That's where their bowl is and a place where the food can be dropped off. Each one of those feeding lockouts has a guillotine door so that the keepers can drop the door before putting the food in. The road goes in a circle around what we call Tiger Island. There are two tigers who live on Tiger Island currently, Kimba and Max. Kimba has four of these 1,800 square foot enclosures that are joined together through a system of tunnels and guillotine doors. There's also an additional area behind that trailer that you see to your left at the top of the screen that was added on, making it the equivalent of about five of these enclosures. This means he has four dens, at least four, maybe five platforms, four places where he can be fed, four places where he can get fresh water in those feeding lockouts. Directly in the middle of the screen, you can see one of his feeding lockouts. And that's Kimba. He's done eating now and has moved back over. A couple of the cages have these reddish brown poles. These were originally open topped enclosures and that's why. Once you put a roof on the rounded edge, you don't need those posts for strength. It's all in the curvature of the wire. The white piping that you see on top was installed back when there were forest fires on the other coast of Florida. We did that so that we had a sprinkler system throughout the sanctuary on the cat's enclosures in case fire were to reach us.
Just beyond the trailer to the left, you can see one of the feeding lockouts right in front of the platform. That white square is a piece of tile that covers the water bowl to help keep leaves or sun off of the water. This feeding lockout is currently not being used, so the water pan has been dropped down and the door is shut to this enclosure or this feeding lockout. Most of our dens are inside the enclosures, but some are on the outside like this one. At the left of the screen, you can see there is a very short tunnel between the two cages and two gears. The cables that pull the doors open and shut are attached to a pole that is well away from the side of the cage so that while the snapping is being done or the unsnapping, the volunteer's hands are nowhere near the cage. Here comes Kimba. He's had his breakfast. Now he's ready for a bath and a nap. The hole that you see in the side of the den is because so many of our cats are geriatric and they require medications for their old age issues. Sometimes when they go in their den, it's very hard to do that. So we have a little peephole on the side with a little ledge to keep the weather out so that the keepers can stick the stick through the hole with the meat that contains their medications. This den was actually built for bobcats and the holes are too small in it. So that's why there's covers on the doors so that the bigger cats can't get their heads stuck inside. They can still get up on top of it to use it as a lookout point though. So we just came down the west side of Tiger Island and now we are traveling down the south border of Tiger Island. The drone is out over what we call the tour path and is looking left toward the last of the enclosures that belong to Kimba. He's currently shut out of this one because as you can see, there's a pipe with some wire right there. We're installing some cameras. And we didn't want him messing with the crew that was working that close to the cage. To give you an idea of scale, each one of those balls is about three feet across. Each one of the squares is four inches. Our cages are built out of five gauge and six gauge wire. Some of the newer, shinier stuff like you see in the background on the tunnel, that's five gauge, whereas the rest of our enclosures are six gauge. They've been spray painted with Rust-Oleum. It's a rust brown colored paint to keep them from rusting. Here you can kind of get a view of where the roofed areas are and then where the keeper areas are in between. So everywhere that have a, has a roof, that hatch mark that you can see across the top, that's where the tiger is. And everywhere that doesn't have that hatching across the top, that's where the keeper can travel. Back when we built the sanctuary, these palmettos were about the only things that lived here. Palmettos and some pine trees. Back in the 90s, there was some sort of pine beetle that took out most of the pine trees, so we planted a lot of oak trees. That's given us amazing shade for the cats, but it makes it really hard to see the cages from above. The bright silver wire that you see on the right hand side, that's the tunnel that goes out to vacation rotation. All of our tigers get a month 
having vacation rotation in a two and a half acre enclosure all to themselves. And so we will put those tunnels together and go across the road in order to usher one of the cats out to vacation at a time. These tunnels go and connect to each one of the cat's enclosures, and they're separated out with gates. Each gate is padlocked at the door to the cat's main enclosure, unless that cat is utilizing the tunnels. This section of tunnel is not being utilized by anyone. Kimba does use the tunnels further back here. You can see the den right in front of you, and then off to the right you can see where the tunnel comes off of Kimba's cage and it branches out to the left and to the right. He can go through that tunnel out to the right and then make a left down toward where he is currently in the cage that has the brown poles. At the beginning of this video, I gave you a brief overview, but this time I'm going to do it a little bit slower. And that way you can see how difficult it is to tell how big our cages are from above because you just can't see them for all the trees. The big silver roof that you see there is what we call staff offices. To the right of that is the mobile home that we flew along the top of. It's currently used for storage. Toward the top left of the screen, closer to the center, you'll see a big rectangular box. That's Nikita Lioness's enclosure. She also has a huge roof section that goes behind that mobile home and all through the trees back there. Panning left, we have a little bit of a bay head, as you can see in those brown trees. And then you can just barely see the bottom of vacation rotation, that long straight fence line. This is Tiger Lake. Tigers, Sapphire, and Jasmine currently live on the right-hand side of the lake, and you can see the solar panels on the left-hand side. Zooming back in, you can kind of see the little tunnels that go in between the enclosures, and you can see right about where we started at the top and a little off to the right-hand side. Right here at the end of the tunnel is where it goes across the street so that it can go out to vacation rotation. <laughs> 